is Tony and I am back. I have seven TTMs this week, so let's not waste any more time and let's get right to the TTMs. First one comes from Mr. Darren Jackson, the voice of the White Sox, commentator for the past 20 years for the White Sox. Before that, had a very long, productive Major League Baseball career. Uh, enjoy his broadcasting some. Uh, much better than Hawk Harrelson. Uh, we'll never enjoy Hawk Harrelson. <laughs> Next one comes from Cub legend Turk Wendell. Everybody knows his, his oddities on the pitching mound, jumping over the third baseline, brushing his teeth in the dugout, whatever. Uh, Turk came up as a starter, switched to the bullpen, and the rest is history. He was traded to the Mets on a salary dump by the Cubs in 1997. The Cubs were having a miserable season. They started 0-14 that season. And by August, they had traded most of, most of their talent. Uh, Ryan, Ryan Sandberg retired again in 1997. And then the Cubs traded Brian McCray and a few others. Uh, Turk Wendell was in that trade uh, to the Mets. And the Mets used that, uh, that trade to help propel themselves to the 2000 World Series. Next one is a Cy Young candidate, Charles Nagy. Charles Nagy was a pretty, pretty good pitcher throughout his career. Uh, was part of the very dominant uh, mid-90s Cleveland Indians teams. Those, uh, those two World Series teams, oh so close. Oh so close for those uh, Cleveland Indian teams to winning the World Series. Great pitcher for a long time. Glad to get to Mr. Charles Nagy back. Now let's move on to the old guys. First one is Larry Burwright, one of the first New York Mets. He came in after their uh, inaugural season in 1963 is when he came. Mets started in 1962. Uh, I asked him a couple of questions, but he did not answer them. That's okay, though. That happens. Next one is Lou Krause. Lou's father, Lou Krause Sr., played in the big leagues for several years. Uh, Lou Krause might best be known for, and Brewers legend, for the first pitcher to ever throw a complete game shutout in their career. Next one, Dave Stenhouse. Mr. Stenhouse, I sent that 1963 tops to him. He enclosed that 1985 Topps uh, father and son card. Uh, I didn't ask for it. He just sent it. I thought that was pretty cool of him. Um, I asked him about playing at RFK Stadium, which is a complete dump now. I, I asked him how, how did he like pitching there and how did he like playing there. And he actually said he loved it and it was a great ballpark. Of course, it wasn't taken care of and it was a piece of crap by the time I ever visited there. All right, the last uh, TTM this week comes from Ike DeLock. Ike uh, also answered my questions. Uh, he grew up in the Detroit area, so I asked him about playing for the Red Sox and coming back home and pitching for the team he grew up watching, um, going to the stadium as a fan, and he uh, he said that it was uh, it was tough for him to at first to, to come back and pitch against his favorite team growing up. He absolutely loved pitching at Tiger Stadium and thought it was a, a great experience. Um, Mr. DeLock, though, he signed the penny sleeve. <laughs> Didn't sign the card. So I'm going to send the card back to him and uh, hopefully get it signed. I'll send it without a penny sleeve this time. Uh, first time that's happened to me. That's what I have this week. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great one. Bye-bye.